<laughs> well, you know, really, we can go longer. We could. You think we should? I think, yeah. Okay. Let's establish it, because kind of make it like almost like a, where it's almost like a jam in a sense. For a while. Yeah. Should we do four of the... We, uh, we tried to keep the theme of the musicians kind of skate related. So people who played on the, in the video were skateboarders themselves, whether they're pro skateboarders like Leah Romero, people like John Herndon who's from Tortoise, or Mike Watt who's been in so many bands that are synonymous with skate videos. It was definitely a keep it within the family of skateboarding and skateboarding culture was kind of the theme behind the music. The whole thing was based out of uh, my friend's studio, Bionic Ear. Uh, it's a guy called Noel Paris runs that. It's out of his home. It's kind of a lo-fi small studio, but it's got everything you need just to have a like, you know, solid recording session and everything you need to have a relaxing vibe. You know, the amount of time that goes into a four minute part, a six minute part, if you don't know what that's all about, then, then you don't realize the weight that's on your shoulders when you're creating that music. That one fell off. <laughs> we started the music process probably about three months before the video was all wrapped up. Everything was shot, parts were mostly edited. We would bring the parts edited as we thought they would look, you know, um, sometimes to music already, just to kind of have a structure and some timing. But quite often I'd try and like silence that so the musicians didn't get too biased of an influence because I didn't want it to be any kind of like a clone or rip off of the track. Mike Manzuri came in with a few records that I knew very well, which I felt was a good sign, you know, references to bands like Tortoise and, you know, Firehose, as well as some other kind of more psychedelic pieces of music that maybe I hadn't known as, as much, but I could kind of understand what that picture, the, the overall scope of the project was going to be. And working with the musicians, we would kind of talk about what the writer's vibe was like, what the footage was like, what we were kind of going for for the feel. Noel, myself, and, and Manzuri were all thinking like, okay, the skating is the focus here, that's obvious. But we want to have original, interesting music to accompany that that sort of helps tell the story of the skater and their part and what they're doing better. And then, what's really fun then, there's the collaboration part of it. I've seen fantastic footage just get kind of crushed when the song just doesn't line up, you know? Like, there's, a, there's something wonderful when you sort of see the perfect alignment of music to footage. It's like a dance on the screen almost, you know? And the music can make or break a video part. So it was definitely something we really wanted to kind of uh, make sure we didn't blow it. Etnies is a skater own, so it just all made sense for it to be kept within skateboarding as much as possible. And, you, know, you know, once they've seen their parts, they were like, really happy with how it turned out and they appreciated that we put that much time and effort into it.